time. There's no time without movement. But the question is, the movement of what? Have you ever heard the phrase, time flies when you're having fun? Well, it's true. When you're doing something, time seems to fly. But try getting in trouble and being sent to your bedroom. No computer, no radio. Just sit and wait for your parents to come in and tell you what your punishment is. Time seems to just crawl. That's because we need some sort of movement to gauge how much time has passed. One day or 24 hours has to do with the movement of the Earth. One day is the amount of time it takes the Earth to spin or rotate one time on its axis. Now an axis is an imaginary line that goes through the center of the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole. The next unit of time is one month. One month involves the movement of the moon. Moon in Spanish is Luna. One of the interesting things about the moon is that it revolves and rotates pretty close to the same speed. So it takes about 28 days for it to revolve and rotate, which means we always see the same side of the moon from here on Earth. Our last unit of time is one year. One year is the movement of the Earth around the Sun. It takes about 365 days or one year for the Earth to revolve around the Sun. The shape of the orbital path that the Earth takes around the Sun is called an ellipse. Now I'm not sure why this happens, but every year people tend to get one day and one year mixed up. One day only involves the Earth, while one year involves the Earth and the Sun. So be careful when you come across a question that is asking about one day or one year. Without the Earth rotating on its axis, we would either live in daylight 24-7 or we would live in nighttime 24-7 because we would have no day and night cycle. Also, without the rotation of the Earth, we wouldn't have the sun rising in the east and setting in the west. We also wouldn't have shadows that are long in the morning and short or almost non-visible in the afternoon at noontime because when the sun is directly overhead and then get longer again later in the afternoon. We would have no movement to gauge one day or 24 hours that pass. So to recap, one day involves the rotation of the Earth one time on its axis takes about 24 hours or one day, so Earth only. One month involves the movement of the moon, the moon revolving and rotating one time around the Earth. One year involves the Earth revolving around the sun, it takes about 365 days or one year. And the orbital path, the shape of the orbital path is an ellipse.